इंटरनेशनल योगा डे नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू माय क्लास माय नेम इज शिवानिका टुडे वी विल फोकस ऑन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन प्रॉब्लम्स दिस डे स्पेशली व्हेन वी आर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम सिटिंग एट होम और वर्किंग फ्रॉम होम लेट्स फोकस टुडे ऑन स्ट्रांग बैक सिट इन पद्मासन पोस Join your hands in prayer pose. Close your eyes and let's start with Om chanting 3 times. Inhale deeply and Inhale deeply and Om. Inhale deeply and Om. Now let's begin with two rounds of Surya Namaskar. Since it is a good way to open your complete body at the beginning. Stand at the edge of your mat. Keep your feet together and balance your weight equally on both the feet. Expand your chest and relax your shoulders. As you breathe in, Lift both arms up from the sides and as you exhale bring your palms together in front of the chest in prayer position. Breathing in, lift the arms up and back, keeping the biceps close to the ears. In this pose the objective is to stretch the whole body up from the heels to the tips of the fingers. To get maximum benefits, you may pull the pelvis forward and ensure reaching up with the fingers rather than going backwards breathing out bend forward from the waist keeping the spine erect as you exhale completely bring the hands down to the floor beside the feet this is hands to foot pose Now we'll move to Ashu Sanchalasan pose. While breathing in, push your right leg back as far back as possible. Bring the right knee to the floor and look up. Now we'll move to stick pose or Dandasana. As you breathe in, Take the left leg back and bring the whole body in a straight line and keep your arms perpendicular to the floor. From this pose we will move to saluting with eight points or parts. Gently bring your knees down to the floor and exhale. Take the hips back slightly, slight forward, rest your chest and chin on the floor raise your posture a little bit the two hands two feet two knees chest and chin that is eight parts of the body should touch the floor moving to bhujangasana or the cobra pose slide forward and raise the chest up into the cobra posture You may keep your elbows bent in this position. The shoulders away from the ears. Look up and as you inhale, make a gentle effort to push the chest forward. As you exhale, make a gentle effort to push the navel down. Tuck the toes under. 
Ensure you are stretching just as much as you can. Do not force. Moving to mountain pose or inverted V pose or you can also say downward dog position. While breathing out, lift the hips and the tailbone up. Chest downwards in an inverted V position. If possible, try and keep the heels on the ground and make a gentle effort to lift the tailbone up, going deeper into the stretch. Stay in this position for one or two breaths. Now coming back to Ashu Sanchalasan pose. While breathing in, bring the right foot forward in between the two hands. Left knee down to the floor. Press the hips down and look up. And place the right foot exactly between the two hands and the right calf perpendicular to the floor. In this position, make a gentle effort to push the hips down towards the floor to deepen the stretch. Moving back to Haspadanasana or hand to foot pose. While breathing out, bring the left foot forward. Keep the palms on the floor. You may bend the knees if necessary. Gently strengthen the, knee, the knees. And if you can, try and touch your nose to the knees. Keep breathing. Now moving to raised arm pose. While breathing in, roll the spine up. Hands go up and bend backwards a little bit. Pushing the hips slightly outward. Ensure that your biceps are beside your ears. The idea is to stretch up more rather than stretching backwards and as you exhale first straighten the body and then bring the arms down relax in this position and observe the sensations in your body let's continue Surya Namaskar using the left leg as you breathe in lift both arms up from the sides and as you exhale bring your palms together in front of the chest in prayer position Breathing in, lift the arms up and back, keeping the biceps close to the ears. In this pose, the objective is to stretch the whole body up from the heels to the tips of the fingers. Moving to hand to foot pose. Breathing out, bend forward from the waist, keeping the spine erect. As you exhale completely, Bring the hands down on the floor. Moving to Ashu Sanchalasan. While breathing in, push your left leg back as far back as possible. Bring the left knee to the floor and look up. Now moving to stick pose or Dandasana. As you breathe in, Take the right leg back and bring the whole body in a straight line and keep your arms perpendicular to the floor. Let's move to saluting with eight points or parts by gently bringing your knees down to the floor and exhaling. Take the hips back slightly, slide forward, rest your chest and chin on the floor. Raise your posterior a little bit the two hands two feet two knees chest and chin that is eight past parts of the body should touch the floor move to cobra pose or bhujangasana by sliding forward and raise the chest up into the cobra position you may keep your elbows bent in this position the shoulders away from the ears Look up. As you inhale, make a gentle effort to push the chest forward. 
as you exhale make a gentle effort to push the navel down tuck the toes under ensure you are stretching just as much as you can do not force now moving to mountain pose or downward dog position while breathing out lift the hips and the tailbone up chest downwards in an inverted v pos position if possible try and keep the heels on the ground and make a gentle effort to lift the tailbone up going deeper into the stretch now coming back to ashva sanchalasan pose while breathing in bring the left foot forward in between the two hands right knee down to the floor pressing the hips down and look up and place the left foot exactly between the two hands and the left calf perpendicular to the floor in this position make a gentle effort to push the hips down towards the floor to deepen the stretch coming back to hand to foot pose while breathing out bring the right foot forward keep the palms on the floor you may bend the knees if necessary while breathing in roll the spine up hands go up and bend backward a little bit pushing the hips slightly outward ensure that your biceps are be beside your ears the idea is to stretch up more rather than stretching backwards and as you exhale first straighten the body and then bring the arms down relax in this position and observe the sensations in your body now let's move to garland pose squat with your feet as close together as possible keep your heels on the floor if you can otherwise support them on a folded mat separate your thighs slightly wider than your torso while exhaling lean your torso forward and fit in snugly between your thighs press your elbows against your inner knees bringing your palms together in salutation seal or anjali mudra and resist the knees into the elbows this will help lengthen your torso now stay in this position for some time the garland pose stretches the ankles groins and back now take a deep inhale straighten the knees and move to cat cow pose begin with your hands and knees on the floor make sure your knees are under your hips and your wrists are under your shoulders begin in a neutral spine position with your back flat and your abs engaged take a deep inhale and on the exhale round your spine up towards the ceiling and imagine you are pulling your belly button up towards your spine by really engaging your abs tuck your chin towards your chest and let your neck release this is your cat like shape on your inhale arch your back let your belly relax and go loose lift your head and tailbone up towards the sky 
without putting any unnecessary pressure on your neck this is the cow position of the, of the pose continue flowing back and forth from cat cow pose and connect your breath to each movement Let's repeat this pose 10 times. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale exhale and inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale. Now let's move to camel pose. Begin on your knees with your legs and feet hip width distance. Place your hands behind you as if they were in the back pocket of your jeans. Engage your core and press your hips and thighs forward. Lift your chest and reach back touching your heels with your hands. Gaze is behind you and stay with it for five breaths. If you can't reach your heels, then leave your hands on the glutes. You might feel a little lightheaded at first, but just focus on your breath and try not to rush into it. Now slowly bring your hands back on your glutes and then exhale, lift your torso up. Now let's move to extended puppy pose. Come onto all fours. See that your shoulders are above your wrists and your hips are above your knees. Walk your hands forward a few inches and curl your toes under. As you exhale, move your buttocks halfway back toward your heels. Keep your arms active. Don't let your elbows touch the ground. Drop your forehead to the floor or to a blanket and let your neck relax. Keep a slight curve in your lower back. To feel a nice long stretch in your spine, Press the hands down and stretch towards through the arms while pulling your hips back toward your heels. Breathe into your back, feeling the spine lengthen in both directions. Breathe in and breathe out deeply. You can hold this pose longer and protect your knees and lower back by placing a rolled up blanket between your thighs and calves. Now release your buttocks down onto your heels and relax.
Moving to happy baby pose. Lie on your back with an exhale, bend your knees into your belly. Inhale, grip the outsides of your feet and your hands. If you have difficulty holding the feet directly from your hands, hold onto a belt looped over each sole. Open your knees slightly wider than your torso. Then bring them up towards your armpits. Position each ankle directly over the knee. So your shins are perpendicular to the floor. Flex through the heels. Gently push your feet up into your hands or the belts as you pull your hands down to create a resistance. Stay in this pose for two breaths. Take a deep inhale and deep exhale. The benefits of this pose is that it gently stretches the inner groins and the back spine and calms the brain and helps relieve stress and fatigue. And then normally lie on your back. Let's move to bridge pose. Lie on your back with your knees bent and feet on the floor. Extend your arms along the floor while palms flat. Press your feet and arms firmly into the floor. Exhale as you lift your hips towards the ceiling. Draw your tailbone towards your pubic bone, holding your buttocks off the floor. Do not squeeze your glutes or flex your buttocks. Now roll your shoulders back and underneath your body. Clasp your hands and extend your arms along the floor beneath your pelvis. Keep your thighs and feet parallel. Do not roll to the outer edges of your feet or let your knees drop together. Press your weight evenly across all four corners of both feet. To release, unclasp your hands. Now allow your knees to drop together. Now moving to supine spinal twist pose or supta matsen drasana. While lying on your back, bring your arms out to the sides with the palms facing down in a T position. Bend the right knee and place the right foot on the left knee. Exhale, drop the right knee over the left side of your body, twisting the spine and low back. Look at the right fingertips. Keep the shoulders flat to the floor. Close the eyes and relax into the position. Let gravity pull the knee down. So you do not have to use any effort in this posture. Breathe in and breathe out. Hold this position for two deep and long breaths. The knee down twist stretches the back muscles, realigns and lengthens the spine and hydrates the spinal discs. To release, inhale and roll the hips back to the floor and exhale the leg down to the floor. 
Now let's repeat this on the other side. Bend the left knee and place the left foot on the right knee. Exhale, drop the left knee over to the right side of your body, twisting the spine and low back. Look at the left fingertips. Keep the shoulders flat to the floor, close the eyes and relax into this posture. And let's again take a deep inhale and deep exhale. And hold on this position for two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And release the pose with inhale and roll the hips back to the floor and exhale the leg back down on the floor. Now lie on your back in Shavasana. Close your eyes and relax your whole body. Take a deep inhale and exhale deeply. Observe the breath traveling through your nostrils. Focus on inhalation and exhalation. Focus on your stomach, which is contracting and expanding with your breath. Focus on the positive thoughts the positive changes going through your body after doing yoga. Move your fingers of your legs. Now move your fingers of your hands. Take a deep inhalation and open your eyes with an exhalation. And thank you for this class. Namaste and have a nice day.